The Louisville Zoo is a great place to visit and enjoy some animals. With a variety of exhibits and educational opportunities, the zoo is also a great place to learn. We take a walk on the wild side to explore some of the zoo's educational programs. Today we're speaking with Marcel, who's the Curator of Education. Hi Marcel. How are you today? I'm doing very well, thank you. How are you? We're wonderful. Could you tell us what you do here at the zoo? Um, I'm what they call a Curator of Education, and basically I'm responsible for all the educational programming that happens here at the zoo, whether it's uh, formal programs, um, education materials, tours, um, you know, interpretation of what's going on out, out at the zoo. So it's formal and informal education. And the living classroom is a fabulous place to use um, as a teaching resource. Tell me about the program here, the, the well, zoo school program. School at the zoo is very much um, a full week-long, all-day program for mostly seventh graders from Jefferson County Public Schools. And uh, we have the have a topic um, that we cover throughout the week, ecosystems. So um, they get to explore the world around us and they get to see wetlands and grasslands and rainforest, uh, the tundra, um, and uh, learn about the animals and plants that are found in those different ecosystems. And the day pretty much covers a lecture about that topic. Then they do an activity that relates to the topic. Then they uh, go out in zoo grounds and um, have a follow-up activity relating to that same topic. And they uh, some days have keeper talks. So the keepers get to talk about um, what you know the care of the animals and what their job is all about. So it's a really nice connection between the, the kids and our keeper staff. And they're so passionate about what they do. It's wonderful, you know, for them to be able to share their knowledge mm -hmm. um, um, with the kids. And then at the end of the day, they finish up with um, uh, writing in their science notebook. And writing is a very important component to science. You know, we're trying to improve science literacy. And so they get to uh, write about what they did throughout the day. They get to review the vocabulary words. It's a good way for us to assess and see what they've learned throughout the day. You know, repetition is always good. You know, the seventh graders are tested in science at the end uh, in April. And so this is a wonderful program that helps get them ready for the test. Some of the students walked out of their test uh, last spring and they said, oh, those are some of the things that you know, we heard about at the zoo. So we're really helping the teachers teach what they have to in the classroom by using hands-on um, activities. Um, you know, they get to explore and discover uh, the world around them. And uh, you know, the zoo is a perfect living classroom. We're outside of the Gorilla Forest exhibit. Pat Thurman is joining me. She is a seventh grade science teacher at Newburgh Middle School. Hi, Pat. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. Can you tell me what your class is doing here today? We are having a fabulous week here. We're spending time working on life science, which is a huge component of our, of our curriculum. Uh, we're doing things like ecosystems. Uh, it's our theme for the week, so we study a particular ecosystem. Today, we're doing rainforest, which is why we're here at the Gorilla Yard. Um, and what greater opportunity the kids study, and then they go see. So they can have some interaction. Uh, obviously, we can't touch a gorilla, but we've touched other animals this week. It's a fabulous program. The students really seem to be having a great time today. What do they take back to the classroom from this? A lot of our students, believe it or not, this is their first zoo ever. So for them, they're just they're in such awe. Wow, this is, this is really here. They read about it. They see it in books. They see it on the news or National Geographic. But to actually come and experience the zoo is a wonderful idea for them. They take back the memories. They take back the experience to their family. Uh, they've got a notebook they've been compiling for the week. We'll take that back to the classroom. We'll use it uh, cross curriculum. They're going to use it with their math program as well. Uh, but the, I can't say enough. This is a fabulous program. This is my fourth year to bring a group here to the zoo. Why is seventh grade a good age to bring to the zoo or school at the zoo? Seventh grade 
is the CATS year for science. So we have a lot of things that have to be covered. Life science is a big component. So again, to, to study ecosystems. With the ecosystems, we also have talked about climate. We've talked about food webs. We've talked about the water cycle. All these things being pulled in together, again, because they're interacting and it's a, it's a live thing that they can go and actually see. It makes more sense to them. It's more concrete so that it, they can relate better when it comes to a test question being asked, if they have to write an open response question. We have seen, um, we've seen improvement uh, if they've got an understanding, if, it, like a, if it's concrete they can relate that and the reader is going to understand more of what the writer is trying to say. Three of Ms. Thurman's students have joined us. We have Courtney, Jasmine, and Chris. Hi guys. Hi. Tell me what your favorite part of school at the zoo has been. Uh, looking at the animals. Good. Um, my favorite part was the gorillas. My favorite part was the white alligator. That was so cool. Have you guys learned anything you didn't know before? Yeah, um, the white alligator, since it's pink eyes, it's pink because uh, it's so white that you shouldn't even look blood red. Wow, great. Um, I learned that there is a such thing as a silverback gorilla. Mm-hmm. And it's really sweet. Yes, it is. Uh, I think, oh yeah, I learned what a chichilla feels like, actually. Pretty cool. Excellent. Is there anything that you want to take back with you when you get back to the classroom? Is there anything that you feel like you've learned that you couldn't possibly have learned in the classroom by being out here? Uh, yeah, what animals look like, feel like, and what their actions is, mostly because it's a zoo. For more information on the zoo's educational programs, visit louisvillezoo.org. Metro TV, a public service of Louisville Metro Government.